So we're just doing a little walk around of Amanda 29. Sea change. It's got two high thrust 9.9 .9 Yamahas. One's the late model light one, and this one here is uh, uh, the older model's a bit heavier. It's about to be replaced with a tilt up model that I've got at home. So I'll have two. There's the dual controls there for it. Lots of room out the back under the rudder, and there's lots of room down there. There's a holding tank down there for the restroom. And, uh, unbelievable amount of storage in these hulls. I put milk crates. I can get about six milk crates and plus stuff on top if I want to. Um, there's our beautiful brand new mast and rigging. Sails still have got a lot of life. There's two of these solars, one on each side, and there's that solar there. Um, uh, charges the battery for the motors and then there's two house batteries in there that are charged by the big solar bank and there's a battery right at the front mainly for the um, for the anchor winch the windlass so such a calm day you can actually see the big um, Sarka XL number four that is that held us all night I've got a snubber there that uh, we didn't really need last night. Going to clean all the um, hulls this morning. That's the solar shower that I had out yesterday afternoon. It was nice and warm. And then uh, just on dusk after I scraped the hulls, I hung it there off the um, bimini and sat down just there and uh, just had a shower when... Uh, with warm water, that's how I have a shower. Look at the beautiful crystal clear water. I'm going to go over there now and clean the hulls. That's our beat up old, that's my beat up old tender. There's another tender that um, I often use with this boat that's um, marked for sale with this boat. Um, coming, the bimini is there, coming along inside. There's lots of uh, storage there's two petrol tanks in here i keep it more as much petrol as i could ever wish could go in the other holes i'm just coming inside for a little tour this is friday the doglet who's going to go for a walk or want to go to the beach 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 yes okay this is our little control panel there i can turn off the um light for the mass light um we charged up both our batteries last night i've got um that's a depth, that's a nav, and that's a wind general wind. It's got a um, auto helm that uh, works fine. That's our restroom there with a um, little basin. And uh, that there comes up if you wish to stand there for some reason. Um, screens on both of these windows. Plus all these latches, one, two, three, and the one in the restroom, have um, have uh, s s sand fly screens, mozzie flies, and, and sand fly screens. A little kitchen there, lots of water that's underneath in the storage that's under there, um, and now we carry spare water there for just for drinking. Haven't turned this on. I turn this off at night. But I'll turn it on now, and that just uh, goes all day, keeps cool. Um, so that'll come on in a minute and go green. Uh, and that's the beds there. So there's all these lights here that um, you push the button, and they all come on at once. One, two, three, and that one up there came on. And then you can dim them, see? Or you can turn them off. So that's the lights for there. And uh, I've got the same in here. One, two, and then three. Three in there. If you And that's the remote there. If you want to turn them off and on. Dim them. Or you can turn them off and on manually. If you want to. Uh, yeah. So that's where the other battery is. Right at the very front. That's the lead that goes down. To, I mean the hose that fills up the water. In the... Um, about 80 litres under there. Um, it's got an automatic bilge pump in here. That, uh, if you want it, and there's an automatic bilge pump over here. 
there's that battery that and there's the thing that's got a under there you can see an automatic bilge pump. I keep a spare anchor there I keep a um, bit of gear there's a couple of life jackets there and a really big a powerful bilge pump electric bilge that just clogs in that can go anywhere I want it to and this is just I've got um, 220 litre at home that I usually put in there, but at the moment I'm just putting two um, uh, 10, uh, 11 litres there that uh, for each motor. But, uh, uh, the other thing is it has a swing keel. When the table goes up, when the table goes up, this is the table, um, there's two little ropes there and this swing keel goes down and then that just comes up there. Um, and this is Shinta. Hello, Shinta. Uh, did you have fun? Yes, it's lovely. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's busy. Um, and that's the controls there for everything. Anchor lights. We just charged up both batteries. So we've got 100% batteries on our phones overnight. Radio. Solar controller. EPIRB. There's another um, fire extinguisher around. Um, and... Uh, um, wind, nav station, and depth. There, that lifts up and goes out and sits in, hooks into there on that little thing, that little hole. So that sits there. So when you're sitting here controlling, you can see everything there. There's a um, that's turned off at the moment, but that's the windlass up and down. There's also a, a function, a remote function, right to the um, bow of the boat as well. That's about everything. Um, four good winches control everything from here and a furling um a furling jib which is great so this is my our manta 29 that's the biggest little tour i've ever done of it um but uh, it's a great little boat it is for sale 0413770272 if you want to give us a call have a look at it in real life perhaps have a sale um we love the boat but um we are committed to sell if um if someone wants the boat but um in the meantime we love having it so uh thanks for watching our video all the best